Hey, what's happening everybody? This is Elite Kicks back with the weekly video. I know in today's video I was supposed to be talking about the February releases, the Jordan 4 Craft that was supposed to be dropping. dropping. I was going to preview all the shoes that are dropping in February, but I have an update, a really huge update I wanted to drop today. There is a Dunk Reserve that is very close on the horizon. As of yesterday, as of, or as of, I'm sorry, as of a few days ago, there are four dunks that have loaded up on the back end. Now they have no attached date, but those dunks are going to be dropping very soon. Now we're going to be talking about which dunks those are. I'm also going to be reminding you guys what the back end exactly is and what it means to not have a date attached to it. We're going to be talking about just a general framework of when this could happen. And finally, we're going to be talking about how best to cop on a dunk reserve. Which dunks are dropping? We're going to see the Jackie Robinson dunks. We're going to see the Rose Whisper dunks. We're going to see the Racer Blue dunks. And finally, we're going to be seeing the Lottery dunks as well. All four of those dunks have loaded up on the back end. Now, what's the stock looking like? Now, keep in mind, this is a dunk reserve. So stock is generally not as high as it is for the general release. So stock isn't quote unquote high but stock is decent. Now, unfortunately, what that means is bots will be going all out for these dunks. If you don't have multiple accounts and if you don't understand how to, un how to set up multiple accounts, be sure to check out my prior videos. When is this going to be happening? The general course is that when something loads up on the back end and stock generally seems to get added, you'll see a, dro you'll see a drop that happens within the next week or so. Now, unfortunately, there have been instances in the past, and I mentioned this before, think of the 50th anniversary drop that was supposed to happen last year, but never did, which included, I believe it was like the Mocha ones and the Ama Manier 3s or something along, I can't remember which ones it was rumored to be, but those shoes had loaded up on the back end. That's why there was so much rumor, um, and the Obsidian ones as well. There was so much rumor circling around it, but Nike never really attached a date to it, and it was just speculation after speculation after speculation, but no attached date to it happened, so it just never happened. Could we see that in this instance? Yeah, it's possible, but the way that these dunks are loaded up and that these are recent drops seems to indicate that there is a high likelihood of a dunk reserve happening either this week or next. How's the best, the best way to cop on a dunk reserve? This is a question I get asked a lot. The best way to cop on a dunk reserve is that a dunk reserve is set up essentially as a Leo drop. Most of the time, sometimes it's first come first serve, sometimes it's a Leo drop, but the majority of the time it is a Leo drop. Now what that means is that you've got two to three minutes to enter your, enter your enter up and then you sit there and you wait and hopefully you cop, sometimes you don't, sometimes you do. What's the best way to do this guys? Again, I can't stress this enough, you need multiple accounts. You need to have, you need to go for a consistent size. Do not fall into the trap of looking at the stock numbers and saying to yourself, well, I normally go for a size nine, but a size 10 and a half has the most stock. So I'm going to go for a size 10 and a half. Do not fall for that trap. That is a dangerous trap. And if you start doing that, then you will ruin your account. The other thing to keep in mind is that interrupt as quickly as you can. Do not worry about waiting 10 seconds, 15 seconds, 30 seconds like you would for a 10 minute draw. Interrupt as quickly as you can, interrupt as many accounts as possible. The other very important point to keep in mind here is that don't worry so much about your IP address. Now there's a lot of people out there that say you can only have two or three accounts per IP address and yes I generally do subscribe to that theory as well. But I will say my caveat here is that that theory only applies to the 10 minute draws because Nike is running their most strongest, and I'm putting it here in quote, bot protection. So you can't run 10, 15 accounts on one IP address. However, when is a Leo drop, you can probably get away with doing four to five accounts per IP address. Now, I would not sit here and recommend to you to run seven to eight accounts per IP address. You will get yourself I'm not going to say you're going to get shadow banned, but what could happen is, is that all your accounts will get attached to just one account. So you'll end up putting in seven to eight accounts. However, it's going to be as if you enter just one time. They'll filter out your other six accounts. 
and you'll enter just that one time. The sad part about all this is Nike tries so hard with their bot protection, but they're not able to filter out as many bots as they would like. And what ends up happening is that they end up filtering out manual users a lot. Now, if you are struggling with the sneakers app, again, one thing to consider is join up on the Discord. We have a very strong community there of folks that know how the sneakers app works and they will help you guide through the sneakers app to make sure that you cop more, whether it's for personal or whether it's for resale. The last thing I want to mention is that, man, this week is looking really good. There is a chance that this week could be one of the best weeks we've seen in some time. We've had so many dry weeks uh, since probably, I don't know, Jordan 2s, I guess. I don't know what, I, you know, it's been just such a dry several weeks since then. We really haven't had any good drops. We could possibly see the Lost and Founds dropping this week. We could possibly see this Dunk Reserve happening this week. Now there's a chance this gets pushed back next week and we're just not going to see it together. Or maybe we'll see one this week and one the next week. But that is the video for today, guys. Uh, this is Elite Kicks. I'm going to be signing off now. Next week's video, we're going to resume uh, the preview of the February release. This is Elite Kicks signing off. Take care, everybody.